here to talk about urinary tract infection, or UTI. UTI is an infection that affects the urinary tract. In Tagalog, it is often referred to as balisaw-saw. This is the most common bacterial infection in women, with one half of all women experiencing at least one UTI in their lifetime. Most of the UTIs affect the lower urinary tract or the bladder and is called acute uncomplicated cystitis. If you are frequently urinating or if you are experiencing pain or dysuria, you may have acute uncomplicated cystitis, UTI. Although acute uncomplicated cystitis may not be thought of as a serious condition, the quality of life of those who have this is often significantly affected. The person will experience at the most six days of discomfort. In one study of women with acute uncomplicated cystitis, nearly one half of participants reported that their symptoms caused them to miss work or school. Additionally, up to one half of those with acute uncomplicated cystitis also reported avoiding sexual activity for an average of one week. But what is UTI and how do we get it? Do we get it in dirty toilet seats or wear tight clothing? With me today is a leading expert in internal and tropical medicine and infectious diseases in the Philippines. He is the Associate Professor of Medicine at the Philippine General Hospital, Director and Research Faculty at the Institute of Molecular Biology and Biotechnology at the National Institute of Health, and Adjunct Faculty of Global Health at the University of Pittsburgh. Here with me is Dr. Edsel Salvania. Before we begin discussing the urinary tract infections, let's first inquire about the anatomy of the urinary tract. Okay, so the urinary tract uh, is actually a uh, whole system. So you usually start with the kidneys first, and then the kidneys are connected to the bladder with these two tubes, they're called ureters. And then it goes to the bladder, and then from the bladder, connection to the outside, it's called the urethra. Okay, so is it true that the UTI is the most common bacterial infection in women? And if so, why is that? Yeah, so urinary tract infections are most common, especially in women, because women have a short urethra. And um, it's fairly easy for bacteria from the outside, especially those coming from the perineum, um, to migrate into the urethra and uh, go up the urinary tract and cause infection. Uh, so how is it that women get acute uncomplicated cystitis and, and if it's a serious infection, does is it get uh, very bad when it, there's no proper treatment? Well, if people get, if women get uh, acute uncomplicated cystitis, I mean they're going to start to have symptoms uh, and uh, those kinds of symptoms uh, can be very uh, uncomfortable and if these are ignored then the initial infection can progress to a more serious infection and can actually uh, cause uh, bloodborne infection, sepsis and even death in some cases. And so uh, what causes acute uncomplicated cystitis? Uncomplicated cystitis is actually caused by bacteria and this is uh, typically uh, Escherichia coli or E. coli as for short and that bacteria is found in our gut. It's, uh, it's normal to find E. coli in your gut. But what happens is because of the proximity of the rectal opening to the uh, genital area, the bacteria from the colon, from the gut, can migrate and then go into the urethra and go up the urethra to the urinary bladder and cause cystitis. When you say cystitis, you mean it's an inflammation of the urinary bladder. And from there, it can go up the ureters and actually infect the kidney as well. And at that point, it's called pyelonephritis. So with that, I think we already have mentioned, um, but can you uh, specifically again point out the risk factors of acute uh, uncomplicated cystitis? So for risk factors for developing acute uncomplicated cystitis, being a woman is yes. one of the most uh, important risk factors because of the short urethra. Um, other uh, risk factors are abnormalities of the urinary system, especially if there are problems with flow uh, of the urine. Um, if you have kidney stones, is a problem. If there is trauma to the area, even during sexual intercourse, uh, you can actually introduce organisms into the urethra and those can go up uh, the bladder. In patients who have problems urinating, they may actually get 
uh, what's called a urinary catheter uh, to monitor the urine or to facilitate uh, the exit of urine. And when you put the catheter in, you can introduce bacteria into the urethra and even directly into the urinary bladder. So with these conditions, is there a way to have, sort of have a prevention of uh, this complication? Right, so preventing uh, UTIs uh, is fairly straightforward. You know, uh, one of the uh, biggest risk factors for ending up with UTI is, you know, if you don't urinate enough because uh, it's very stagnant, it gets stagnant in the, in the bladder and the bacteria can multiply. So make sure you're well hydrated, uh, drink a lot of water, um, urinate for uh, people who are sexually active. You should, as, as women, you should urinate after sex to flush out the organisms. There's some data that uh, cranberry, uh, uh, there, either cranberry juice or cranberry capsules can decrease the risk of, uh, of UTI. There's also some data that the acupuncture can actually oh, wow. decrease the risk of UTI and those are all in the guidelines. But uh, really, one of the most important things to prevent any kind of infection is maintaining a healthy immune system. And that means avoiding stress, uh, being able to uh, get eight hours of sleep a day, eating oh, yeah. healthy, um, maybe some vitamin supplements if your diet is not balanced. So uh, infections in general uh, are a, uh, an invasion of the body by a microorganism. So if we keep our body healthy, then we can prevent infection. So there is no truth in that is, it is caused by sitting in dirty toilets or wearing tight clothing. Is that true? No, probably not for sitting on dirty toilets because again, the organisms that we get are really from us. You know, Maybe tight clothing if it impedes uh, circulation or it impedes the flow of urine or it pushes too much on the bladder, then maybe that can impede the flow and increase your risk of UTI. But uh, as for the actual organism, getting it from somewhere else is usually not the case. It's usually something that's already with us and we just need to prevent the E. coli from gaining entry into our bladder. So there you have it. Attention all women. UTI, especially acute uncomplicated cystitis, is one of our biggest downers. Although it is very common, it can still lead to dire health complications. In the next video, we will learn more about acute uncomplicated cystitis and its complications.